team has a history of being a very good drift car. that go into the engine, to the suspension, to the peripherals on the engine, the fuel pumps, the fuel system, the some of the electric system. Literally the whole car has, has been changed. The first time I saw it I was quite blown back with the gold and green. I saw it as it was coming out of the body shop. Uh, paintwork was something that you don't often see in South Africa. This car, as far as drifting is concerned, is the pinnacle. It has been built to be an exact replica of the HKS drift cars. With the correct setup and the correct driver, it will be one of the best drift cars in South Africa. Must be great, great, great. When uh, one makes an engine that can basically make a lot more horsepower than a, a standard car's engine for instance. What you're going to do is uh, use parts which are slightly more custom made. Um, in other words, parts which are more um, robust and they're made for a specific purpose rather than for a uh, general purpose. be doing to it now is fitting water methanol injection to it to enable us to run more boost uh, and more timing to get it to spool up faster and uh, run cooler in competition. We're going to be modifying the exhaust system to a, a better freer flowing system. We're going to modify the differential to be in lock two way not 1.5 way the way it is set currently and then we're going to set the suspension up to to make the most out of uh, out of drifting it with the amount of power that it has. Turbo is obviously the most important thing, being a turbo car, where you would change the turbocharger. Because now you're blowing more air into the engine, you would change the fuel system to cope with the extra air. Really what you're doing is you're creating um, a place where you can make a fire, um, a much bigger fire, and you're giving it more wood and you're giving it more oxygen. From there you take the energy that the fire produces and put it onto the wheels in such a way that it's usable. I'll be taking it from where it is now basically at the second stage of development to the third stage. We're going to be mapping the motor with water methanol which will allow us to add a lot more timing in and a lot more boost which will enable the driver to basically put the car into a corner and have control over the car at much higher speeds than we currently can. The engine links up to a laptop and one is able to change at any given RPM or throttle position the amount of fuel or ignition timing going to the engine. So it's a matter of looking here, seeing what numbers we're getting and adjusting to get the optimum safe value out of the engine.
not just about the car, it's about a combination of things. It's about uh, obviously the driver, it's about the team that makes the combination happen and it's about the, the situations where we can have it happen. about Anton is that he's uh, grown up driving from a very, very young age so he has a sort of instinctive um, feeling for being in a motor vehicle. In terms of drifting I think as any sort of aspirant street driver he um, learned how to take a car sideways on the road. I think he's um, He's taken to uh, the Nissan 286 or S14 quite well. It's just, it's a whole complex mix of emotion versus control versus use versus visual input versus speed versus senses. Versus, it, it, it's just, it's just, it's awesome, man. There's a lot of anticipation involved here. You know, placing yourself relatively, visually, I'm talking about my eyesight now, one or two meters from the bonnet was that thing, yet 30, 40 meters ahead as to position the car, especially when there's one or two or three corners you'd like to string together. It's very important how you exit the first corner and line yourself up for the third one. Because somewhere there's got to be a compromise. Yet you're running on such a fine edge that you are virtually, I wouldn't even say out of control, but you're walking in a sort of very, fine life, sort of, it's either perfect or it's not, you know. The car must fit beautifully between the lanes, it must recover in the right hand lane, it must move into the next corner smoothly, it must put on like a dance. running with a car, you forget who, where, what time of day, it becomes about man and machine. Put your hands in the air high up like this, like you a student and you need advice with a crisis, I'm nice with mics, type like my scripts is how I handle the weapon you see me in fights with. Put your hands in the air high up like this, like you a student and you need advice with a crisis, I'm nice with mics, type like my scripts is how I handle the weapon you see me fights with. Put your hands, put your hands.